Hello everyone, I'm so glad to be down here to support you guys today. Um, I have a poem that I'm going to share with you. The name of this piece is Destiny. Um, it's something that I wrote because I've studied theater for about eight years. And I noticed that all through schooling, the only time we ever got exposed to black theater was during Black History Month. And that's one of the issues sometimes that we ignore, that we don't remember in everything that we do. So the name of this piece is Destiny. On a summer afternoon in June, Langston Hughes and Maya Angelou made love on a bed of multicolored rose petals. Nine months later, in a theater dressing room, Sidney Poitier delivered me. He wrapped me in a gypsy robe, placed me in the nurse's arms, the nurse, P.J. Gibson. But she knew that it would be a long time since yesterday, so she occasionally only looked in on me. She left Sister Soldier to spoon feed me. And when necessary, I was fed from Harriet Tubman's breast. Mahalia Jackson and Marvin Gaye sang my lullabies on seven guitars. Martin Luther, G Martin Luther King and Frederick Douglass tucked me in at night. Malcolm X stood there and guarded my door until the morning light. My childhood pediatrician was Benita Younger. I took my first steps in the Amen Corner. After school, I spent afternoons in Rose's backyard, guarded within her fences. On weekends, TK took me on fishing trips. On the ride home, our eyes watched God. George C. Wolf took me to the Colored Museum. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John were my first teachers. Lucy braided my hair and she explained puberty to me. The remains of her bones are embedded in me. Cultural knowledge is key. These ancestors are the reason for my acting and writing ability. The essence of August Wilson leaks through my pen. So how could I dare stand here and not give tribute to artists from back then? Black leaders are the reason that I stand here free. Characters from Lorraine's books live through me. I was born into a world of fictional reality. I said I was born into a world of fictional reality. The first time I picked up a black book, the pages screamed loudly. Grew hands and feet stepped out and embraced me. Susan Laurie Parks took my hand in hers, reached to her side and pulled a two-edged pen out of her purse, cut my fingertips and placed my hands on my lips. And as the blood trickled down, the only sound that could be heard was the hum of the mic. So every night I fight to stand on the stage and make my words ring, sting all the way down to your soul. Because until I inspire you, I can't be made whole. Seeing reality, theater, and poetry are what define me. This, this black art form right here is my destiny.